This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got my co-host, Robbie Hall, back with me. How you doing, Robbie? Way to go, Kathy. Good. Kind of about you. I'm very well today, very well today. Now, I drove to the studios, but I saw you walking this morning, <laughs> up early. You've got a, a guest with you today. I'm going to put the show over to you now. My guest today is Chrissy Tate Angel from Perth Community Choir. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. What is the play being performed this year? So this year, Perth Community Choir is performing Anne of Green Gables, the musical. What is the play about? The musical is based on the book Anne of Green Gables, so it's the story of a young orphan named Anne who is adopted in a community by Marilla and Matthew Cuthbert and her adventures in the town. Do you play a part in the play? I'm not actually in the show this year. Um, I have been on stage with Perth Community Choir a lot of times before, but this year I'm producing the show, so I'm organizing everything behind the scenes and working with my husband, who's one of the co-directors. How many years you have been involved with the theatre? So I've been involved with Perth Community Choir, I think 12, about 12 years ago was the first show I performed in with the group, somewhere between 12 and 15, and I've done theater my whole life. This show was actually a musical that my husband and I met doing in high school, so I know Anne of Green Gables the musical quite well. How many people are performing in the play? We've got a cast of about 60 people, and then our orchestra has another 10. What are the ages of, of the actors? Uh, one of my favorite things about Perth Community Choir is that we are an all-ages group. So our cast has an eight-year-old in it, all the way up to our oldest cast member who is in their 80s, and who has been performing with Perth Community Choir since 1981. <laughs> How long have you been practicing the play for? We did our auditions in June for the show and we cast it then and so people knew their parts over the summer and had a chance to go through everything and then the whole cast started rehearsing together at the beginning of September. Where is the play taking place? We perform our shows at the Mason Auditorium at PDCI, Perth and District Collegiate Institute. Um, the theater, we've performed in that theater since 1981 when the group started. What are the dates for the play? Uh, the play will start November 10th and run November 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th. So we do five shows over four days. We have evening shows on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and matinees on Saturday and Sunday. How, how, and where do you get the tickets? How much are the tickets? We'll see if I don't make a mistake on this one. Uh, tickets are available through ticketsplease.ca. They just went on sale this weekend, so we're just getting started on those. Our shows have limited number of seats, and we've sold out our last three performances in a row, our last three years in a row, we sold out all of our tickets. Um, youth tickets are $15, adults are $25, and we also have a family package for two youth and two adults with snacks and drinks for $85. Is there anything else you would like to tell us about the play? Really just that we're very excited to be back on stage again after a two year break. It's like I said, the group's been together since 1981 with performers who are in the show who started as kids and are now adults and their kids are in the show. So it's really nice for this community group to be back together after a break. And uh, we're just very, very excited to be on stage with such a big show. We have lots of new youth cast members that we're excited to welcome to our team. It's been a really fun process so far, and I think it's gonna be a really, really fun show for audiences to come to. My guest again today was Chrissy Tate 
Angel. Thank you for joining us, Crazy, and have a very great day. <laughs> Thank you, Robbie. Oh, this is great. This is great. You're going to have a wonderful play, especially after two years of COVID, too, getting back up on yep. stage. That's got to feel great. It really does. And I think, I think just the turnout for auditions, the fact that we've got a cast of 60 says how much people missed being on stage and having this community experience. It's a absolutely. really nice opportunity. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, if we can talk a little bit about uh, another hat you wear. You're a teacher here in town <laughs> at St. Francis de Sales uh, Catholic am. Church, or school. Yep. And uh, we had the Terry Fox run. Yes, recently we did. <laughs> and uh, you got your head shaved if they raised a certain amount of money yep so we always set goals for the students to raise so we had different benchmarks this year we had an amount for some of the teachers to get uh, slimed and we had people get <laughs> pies in the face and we had silly string and then our big goal this year was if the kids raised at least two thousand dollars I would uh, get rid of all the hair <laughs> and it's a chilly time of year to be shaving your head <laughs> it really is I had not entirely thought that through so I've needed to wear my hats a little earlier than usual <laughs> oh, okay have you ever gone this short before or was this a first experience for you I have actually uh, when I taught at St. John Bosco about 10 years ago the school did a fundraiser for locks of love and I had shorter hair and I had donated before when my hair was long but I asked how I could support and they were looking for money. So I, again, I did a challenge for the school. If they raised a certain amount of money, I would shave my head. So oh. so that was spring though. It's, it's very <laughs> different to do it in the fall than in the spring. <laughs> And what was the amount they raised over at the school? Oh, I'm going to forget the total. It was, uh, I think the last I heard it was around $2,500, but we still had donations coming in. Excellent. So it was a really great turnout, and we were really proud of all of our students. I know. You, you mean, you talk community spirit, uh, school spirit at that school. It's amazing, too. I was just at the turkey train on Friday. And yep. uh, what was it, 2,290 items of food at that moment, still stuff, stuff coming yep. in, and $250, still more money coming in too. Yeah, I know. I saw a few of my students this morning before I popped over, and there were a few who were sick last week who brought food items oh, in. Yep. The, the turkey trot is always such a wonderful experience at our school. We got such great support for that event. Excellent. So, yeah, we were really proud of all the kids this year. Oh, yeah, it was a great event. I was uh, able to go over and take some pictures, and then I went <laughs> over to the food bank too, and the police officer were helping unload and was nice. Robbie you were there Robbie you were there helping uh, get the food and, and every year every year yeah we my mom uses uh, I'm a van yes you use your van too we needed a school bus and your van to get all the food over there so that was great yeah you were at the school and then you were at the food bank too unloading and that was uh, a lot of food to unload <laughs> it was <laughs> yeah great great school spirit great school spirit so once again, Christy Tate Angel, thank you very much for taking some time out this morning. I know you got to rush back to school. Sure thing. But uh, maybe you can just say the dates and times of the the play again before. So the play is running from November 10th to the 13th, and we have evening shows on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at seven o'clock, and we have afternoon shows on Saturday and Sunday at two o'clock. And tickets are available through ticketsplease.ca. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much, Christy. And once thank again, you. Robbie, thank you for your time. And putting this together. Thanks. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Thank you, Robbie. Have a great day.